Hello, my name is Mike Vitale. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be doing my third uh, preparation for a reticulocyte smear. Uh, so as I've explained in the last videos, um, the reticulocyte smear is done by getting a, a couple drops of whole blood in an EDTA tube here and mixing that with equal drops of the new methylene blue stain here. And then you allow the sample, or the um, you mix those really well, and then you allow the, the sample there to sit for about 15 minutes at room temperature uh, to incubate, which will give you then something that looks like this. This is a new fresh tube, and uh, these have been sitting for about 15 minutes or so. Uh, so I'm just going to lightly kind of resuspend this here so we get a good, well mixed sample. And then I will place a small drop on the spreader slide, or on the, um, the test slide, and then I will use the spreader slide to spread this out. Um, so how this differs from a normal blood smear is um, typically we're doing this with these slides with anemic patients. So I usually go for a little bit larger of a drop on the slide. And then also, also I will hold the spreader slide at a little bit more uh, higher degree angle. So instead of doing it at like 30 degrees, I'll probably go more for like a 45 degree angle uh, just to make sure that we get a good slide or a good uh, spread here. So I'm just going to take the spreader slide, I'm holding down the, um, the test slide here nice and firmly. I'm going to wait until the blood spreads across the entire uh, bottom portion here of the spreader slide and then do a swift movement forward. And so we can see here, if we kind of put in the light a little bit, see we got a nice feathered edge um, on that slide there. So we'll just allow that to air dry um, until that is fully dried, and then we'll be good to look at that on the microscope. Uh, but that is how you do a reticulocyte smear.